Hey guys, welcome to Piping Engineers. In today's video, we will learn about pipe weight calculation. We will see how the weight of a pipe is calculated, what is the formula for pipe weight calculation, what is the importance of pipe weight in industry. And at a later stage, we will see with the help of an example that how weight of a pipe is calculated. So for more videos and updates, please like, follow and subscribe to our channel. So let's begin our today's video and learn about pipe weight calculation. So guys, what is a pipe and a tube? A pipe is basically a round tube, round tubular that is used to distribute your fluids and gases. Pipe is a basic entity that is used in each and every industry. So basically, if we want to transport some fluids, liquids, anything from one place to another, we transport it with the help of a pipe. So in pipe, there are three terms. That is one is this ID. This ID stands for internal diameter of the pipe. And this, this is your OD. OD stands for outside diameter of the pipe. And the difference between ID and OD is designated as your thickness. But in actual industrial practice, the pipe is mm, given by your nominal dia or nominal pipe size. So what this nominal dia is, is it is basically a indicator of the pipe size. And it may be greater than or equal to your OD and it or less than your OD. So this depends upon your schedule number and echo as per the schedule number thickness of your pipe varies and this and accordingly your internal diameter of a pipe varies. So we can say that outside diameter of a pipe remains fixed but with the variation in thickness inside diameter may change and with the with a fixed with a fixed outside diameter there is there is always a fixed nominal dia or nominal pipe size so basically nominal pipe size or nominal dia is your rough indication of the pipe size and so what is a tube a tube is a round rectangular squared or hollow section measured by outside diameter and wall thickness expressed in inches or millimeters so if you you would have seen if the t by d ratio is less than 6 mm so the the round uh, so the square uh, or tubular cross section is generally referred to as a tube so if you can see this is your tube this is a square tube this is a rectangular tube here uh, this is a circular tube here this is a square tube so guys tubes also are also used in industry for various purposes for instrumentation taggings and for instrumentation hookups mostly tubes are used so let's move on to our next slide and see so what is the formula to calculate pipe weight so formula it is a very basic and simple formula that we use that we study from our school days that is density is equal to mass upon volume so this is the basic formula that we use to calculate the mass of the or the weight of the pipe so weight of the pipe if we calculate in kg per meter it is given by pi by 4 od square minus id square into l into rho so what happens is this pi, pi by 4 od square minus id square into l is your volume of the pipe so as the volume of the pipe if we consider our pipe as a cylinder so the cylinder volume of a cylinder is given by pi r square h so this is same pi r square and l stands for the height of the pipe for which we want to calculate the weight of the pipe and into your density so density of a steel density of steel is fixed and it is given as 7850 kg per meter cube od is your outside diameter of the pipe id is inside diameter of the pipe l is your length of the pipe v is your volume of the pipe and m is your mass of the pipe so i have also mentioned the units in brackets so in order to so we with the help of these units our calculation gets uh, so that we can get the weight of the pipe in our si units so let's see in our next slide how do we calculate weight of a pipe with the help of an example so guys here i have uh, asked for a simple question so if you will be solving this question i think you would be getting a clarity that how weight of a pipe is calculated so consider a dn250 pipe of steel of thickness 6.3 mm and consider length of pipe as 1 meter so weight of the pipe per meter length we have to consider we have to calculate and density of the steel is given as 7850 kg per meter cube so as per the question dn250 pipe is it for dn250 pipe outside diameter is given by as 273.1 as i already told you in your first slide for a dn outside diameter for a fixed dn outside diameter of a pipe is fixed only change variation is there in thickness and inside diameter so thickness of the pipe is 6.3 meter mm 
and uh, if we want to calculate our inside diameter inside diameter will be od minus 2 point od minus twice of t so if we get, if we put the values in it so we inside diameter of pipe will be 260.5 mm or 0 0.260 this will be guys meter so make it a correction here this will be meter so uh, this will be meter so it will be 0.265 meter so density of the steel is given as 7850 um, kg per meter cube so if you put all the values in our the formula uh, that is pi by 4 od square minus id square into l into rho we get pi by 4 od was given as 0.273 uh, this will also be in meter guys so there is some type error um, and it will be it's a 0.273 square and minus 0.260 square into 1 into 7850 so it will be given as point four, it will be given as 42.51 kg per meter of length so let's move on to our next slide and uh, guys i hope you would have seen you would have learned how the weight of a pipe is calculated and this weight of the pipe calculation is uh, very important while we um, make estimations of the uh, construction plan and for engineering point of view weight of the pipe is very important so i hope you would have learned in today's video how weight of a pipe is calculated guys thank you for watching the video thanks a lot